Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I picked up the camera this morning and I felt a little bit kind of out of practice. I was like, oh, how do I do this? Because it's been quite a while, obviously. Last week I just done a kind of really brief, easy catch up. Two weeks prior was like the holiday and in Austria. And it's been quite a while since I've actually done a, a real vlog. Um, but I'm back and last week if you watched it I mentioned that our secret project wasn't happening and I wasn't really sure if I kind of wanted to continue vlogging or if it would be like beneficial or of use or interesting really. Um, and quite a few people messaged and commented and sent me texts and Instagram messages saying no like keep them up, um, like random folk as well and friends and I thought cool really nice to know that people are enjoying the vlogs so we'll keep them coming <laughs> by popular demand so we're back um what has been happening i didn't vlog last week i have been busy 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 tomorrow is wedding venue viewing which i'm so excited for like so so excited for the place we're going i have had my I on my heart set on for many 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 years and I just think it is hands down the most beautiful venue in Edinburgh um, so yeah we're gonna go they host a lot of like charity events Christmas things hug money and um, you can do Christmas parties and they do a whole lot of different um, kind of functions there but I've never been to one and I have always refused to go and see it because I wanted to save the moment for when it's my wedding. So now I finally get to go in and see what it's like. And I'm so excited. I keep crying at the thought of seeing this venue. So I hope it lives up to my standards because I have nowhere else that I want to get married. But I think I'll take you along tomorrow and share what's happening in the wedding journey. So. That is tomorrow, but today I am full black, um, in gym clothes, I have the physio, so just having a really chilled, casual day, got lots of work to catch up on, but I have had some new end pieces in my wardrobe, which I might save for next week, but I am going to do like a wardrobe cleanse again, because we're now spring, summer, I'm going to change out my wardrobe, take away all the winter stuff, bring out all the summer stuff, and just have like a va va -voom of the wardrobe. I also have the most beautiful dresses coming from, um, what's the place called? Not Pretty Lavish. No, yeah, Pretty, Pretty Lavish. Yeah. I was thinking of Lavish Alice, but no, Pretty Lavish. Um, a couple of gorgeous summer dresses coming and I have, oh, hello me, I actually have been gifted <laughs> a couple of dresses. Um, so, I guess I need some management. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I have been gifted a couple of dresses from Chi Chi London. I've purchased from there before. They do gorgeous like wedding guest dresses, um, really lovely patterned floral stuff. They're a little bit pricier than say like ASOS or misguided that sort of thing but the quality is a little bit better but their price points are very much affordable as well they're just kind of a little bit more high-end okay one thing i actually forgot to show you i've been to physio and i've came back and i completely forgot to mention that we made a very big unnecessary expensive purchase i say we i mean darren so if you watched the holiday vlogs and the lead up to the holiday vlogs we basically purchased a whole suite of matching suitcases from Aerolite and every single one of them burst on our travels like one like the whole shell burst the inside zips burst it was just such a mess so we were raging on holiday so we had to duct tape our suitcases and they were brand new and we did a little research and tried to figure out what was the best suitcase suitcase to get whether it be like the shell type ones or like the material ones and turns out aluminium 
is the best suitcases to get. So we went online to purchase them and they are extortionate. And we were like, no, no way are we getting these suitcases. It's a ridiculous price. And then the more we went on our trip and the more we like used these suitcases, Darren just got so angry because it was just annoying. So the other day, the other week there, he was like, came home and said, I've done it. I've purchased a suitcase. We only got one. We didn't get a suite. But, so it comes in this big dust bag. And it's actually pretty cool. So. So this is from a place called Remora, I think. And it is a lovely aluminium case. Now, because we started looking into these, we started noticing people at the airport and it was like the fancy people that have these luggages. Um, so now I'm gonna feel very fancy walking around the airport. But it's pretty cool. So it's not got zips or anything like that. Can I pan this down even further? It is literally just two padlocks. Open it like this. You have your inside. And it's quite good because it's got the two sides and usually it's like one big divider, like a big zippy thing, but this is actually adjustable. So if you only fill half of it, you know, this pulls out or goes in and then you secure it so you can fill it half full and it's not and nothing's gonna like fall all over the place. So yeah, that is our big purchase. So yeah, if anyone wants to spend eight hundred pounds on a suitcase, I recommend. <laughs> so I actually realised earlier when I said, Come on, I'll go quickly show you my new items that the camera has stopped filming so it's probably for the best i've had a few hours to like sort out everything i've tried them on so i'll talk you through what i've got in and i'll put little cutaways to the side of how they looked on and how i found them on my body so new white suit so if you watched last week's vlog i was looking for a white suit for my engagement meal in a few weeks and i had one from little mistress i think it was called and the trousers were just way too long and it just wasn't a hundred percent my vibe so i got a new one from zara which fits like a dream the jacket is the best fitting jacket i've ever had it has gorgeous covered buttons on the cuffs it has a lovely long lapel the only thing with that is that it's quite low so I can't wear nothing underneath which was the plan I will I've put like a plain white vest underneath but I think I will wear like a get a bralette or a lace bralette or something um, to make it a little bit more fancy so I got the jacket in a size medium and then I got the trousers also in a size medium and they actually have lovely satin stripes down either side of the leg and they just fit a lot nicer on the length and the cut um, and this is actually a lot whiter when I compared it to my previous one the other one was actually like ivory cream so this is a bright white um, the blazer actually has gorgeous shoulder pads in it so it feels a little bit more luxurious, a bit more structured and all in all it's a winner so I just need to find a bralette or something to go underneath and I have ordered um, a new pair of shoes just to add like a bit of colour in there. I think I ordered like a pink and maybe like a burnt orange. Can't quite remember. Anyway, they'll be arriving soon. Um, so next up, a couple of dresses that I was very kindly gifted from Chi Chi London. <laughs> Don't know who I think I am, but I will absolutely embrace the free dresses. <laughs> So first up, this gorgeous white, um, it's a mini dress, gorgeous puff balloon, chiffon sleeves, lovely embroidery, it's like a lilac and pale blue um, detail, open back, kind of comes in at the waist so it'll give you like a little bit of definition. The cuffs actually have lovely silver buttons on them which is really nice 
and overall it fits a dream i think i got a size 10 yeah i got a size 10 and yeah very very comfortable lovely dress this is something for me that i would casual down and wear during the day but you can obviously dress it up for a more formal it's got too much white in it to be like a wedding guest dress i would say but definitely summer garden vibes you know summer party very very lovely dress i think this was 95 um but i'll link everything below so the second get, um dress i was gifted was this one shoulder navy and pink and red floral pattern dress um really lightweight you know, it's really floaty so nice and cooling comes with a little waist belt which you can take off and add your own should you wish and yeah really easy lovely dress to wear so the last thing that i purchased was looked gorgeous on the website it's from forever unique and it was for it was for a friend's leaving night so like a girl's night late night cocktails not quite in the club vibes but heading towards that vibe so the style of it is not usually my norm kind of outfit it's a little bit more fleshy um so i'm not sure how i feel about it but the event isn't until july so i do plan on getting back being comfortable in my body i do want to lose a few little pounds to just feel a little bit more comfortable um so let me show you what i got so a gorgeous little cord from forever unique it has little embellishments on the trim of the cropped blazer and the trim of the skirt um when i tried this on the only thing that i found so this blazer is meant to it's got like two butterfly clips at the front and i thought it was going to seal shut and be like seamless but you can actually see the butterfly clips on the chest so i'm not sure if i should just sew it a little bit closer together so it's not as booby but yeah i'm not sure i feel 100 percent comfortable wearing that um just yet but by july i might it's just a bit fleshy but on the model on the website i absolutely fell in love with it obviously i'd be covered head to toe in fake tan and that always transforms an entire outfit so we'll see i might just keep it and maybe keep it for do you know what it'd be actually a really nice hindu outfit you know if the bride was in white and the guests were in black anyway that is the update in my wardrobe as i said i do have a gorgeous bit to come up from pretty lavish which should be arriving today and i actually ordered a bunch of stuff from sheen um i know their shoes are really good quality and at the minute I didn't want to fork out and buy another pair of like designer heels or anything so I just got some cheap pairs off of there which will be coming and just some really casual light uh, summer dresses just to like wear around the house I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them and I just I'm finding that I like to get dressed up during the day whilst I'm working. It just makes me feel better, makes me be more productive and actually get up and not lounge around as much. So yeah, I thought I'd invest in some more summer dresses and when I do my wardrobe cleanse, remove all the knitwear and I will update the wardrobe with all my floral dresses. Well, today is the day I was about to say guess who's back mr brown was sitting there but he's ran out the car i think he was overwhelmed with the response he got from the holiday vlogs so many people messaged me saying that they loved darren they found him so funny so i feel like he needs to be featured more often but he's a bit shy but maybe after he has a couple of drinks he will make an appearance i also think he's very nervous to go view this wedding venue and see how much it costs I think he's quite nervous, as am I. So I feel like I'll either be crying with excitement and joy and good emotions or crying with sadness that it will be out of budget. But we will soon find out and I can't even tell you how excited I am to step foot in this venue. There he is! <laughs> he's telling me to hurry up so I best go. Right. Well, he's in.
Did we just book our wedding venue? Yes, we did! <laughs> I um, instantly started crying as soon as we walked in and I had to kind of hold back the emotions um, kind of to not be embarrassing um, but I couldn't help it and then I was like I'm really sorry but I just wanted to get married here since I was nine years old <laughs> and Adam was like it's okay Rachel it's okay <laughs> but yeah we put our date in we're getting married what do you have to say about the matter it's all right it's, it's alright, he's happy. <laughs> Good morning. It is now Sunday. I think I left um, it was quite abruptly. We had just booked the wedding. So, just to quickly fly these in properly, because I think I was overly excited. So, yeah, we reserved our day. We're going to get our contract through on Monday to just go through everything and stuff like that, and then get the deposit paid. And then we could start planning a wedding, which makes me so excited. I la all last night I was looking at wedding dresses, bridesmaids dresses, bands on the car. Driving to here, I was listening to a string quartet. Obviously, getting emotional. Um, but yeah, so excited, and the venue is just more than what I expected. Like. I've wanted to get married at the Mansfield Square for ever and I was a little bit worried that because I've hyped it up so much in my head that it would be a letdown and I wouldn't be in love with it as much as I thought I was but as soon as I walked in, lump in my throat, I was trying not to talk because I knew if I spoke I would start to cry. So the woman that showed us around she was the general manager and she would be there on my wedding day and I was like we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you sound like a crazy lady. <laughs> um, so she took us up to the top and she was like, this is where you'd be standing and this is where your celebrant would be and talking us through it. And then she asked me a question and I was just like, <laughs> just burst out crying. I was like, I'm really sorry. So yeah, that, um, I just had to go with it. I just had to let the emotions out and... I mean, it's probably nice for her to see someone be so enthusiastic about the about the venue. And she was like, so are you viewing anywhere else? And I was like, no way. No way am I viewing anywhere else. Why would I view anywhere else? Like, there is nowhere else as beautiful as this place, in my opinion. I was like, show me the papers and I'll sign. And I think they thought I was joking. And Dad was like, no, let's just look at dates. And they were like, okay. <laughs> So yeah, all is going well. I'm so, so, so excited. So, September 2024 is when we're going to get married. So we've got a good two and a half years to save money, plan hens, plan stags. Use normally one roof house. So it gives us a good amount of time to get everything organised and just enjoy everything. And we have our engagement meal in a few weeks and the two, two weeks time. So yeah. Just so excited. Um, also, my pretty lavish dresses arrived and they're gorgeous. But I'm not going to have time to show them in this vlog because it's Sunday. So I will show them in next week's vlog. And let you see the new summer dresses because they're absolutely beautiful. Anywho, I'm going to end this one here. Have a lovely chilled Sunday and see my girls and have a little walk and see my grandparents and fill them in on all things wedding. So on that note, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah.